What's up guys, Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Today I'm making a video that was requested by a patron over on patreon.com forward slash GarageBand and beyond. This video is for Eric Asperschlager. Thank you so much for your patronage. Thank you so much for the suggestion on the video. I think the topic is really interesting. So what we're gonna talk about today is how to get the most out of the MIDI sounds inside of GarageBand. But before I talk about that, I did wanna talk a little bit about Patreon, what's going on YouTube and how you can help my channel survive, which is basically by you know signing up on Patreon. There's tons of good rewards for you guys, um, mixing deals, Deals, mastering deals. I do mix notes for anything you send me. I'll send you notes back. Um, that's the most popular one is the mix notes thing. Um, but anyway, Patreon is a great way to help content creators like myself survive and to continue to make content for you guys who do enjoy it. It's an essential part of being a YouTuber these days. You know, Jack Conti from Pomplamoose created it. It's a really great platform. Um, and it's just one of those things you can help us survive. Smaller channels right now, we are getting hammered by YouTube. We're just, we're sort of getting shuffled off to the side. They don't seem to really care about us too much. But if you do, if you like the content I make, please check out my Patreon page. I'm sorry to take up so much time at the top of this video for this, but it's really important. Anyway, let's get right into it. So the MIDI sounds in GarageBand, okay? So these are great sounds. They've been professionally sampled, all that stuff, but not always do they work very well inside of a mix. So there's a few little tricks you can do and it's really, really easy. And you know, and other things we're gonna talk about is how to save these things and speed up your workflow. So the piano sound is where we're gonna start. I've just opened up the keyboard collection program here and um, I'm just gonna run through some of these sounds and show you what I'm talking about, okay? So the standard grand piano basically sounds like this. Pretty basic piano sound, okay? So one of the things that I wanna talk about is all of the things that come under these presets when you open them. So if you open the grand piano, you automatically get the, you know, the tape delay, compressor, and an EQ. So let's go ahead and just start looking at the EQ because there are many, many options. If you go over to here and you go to keyboards, you see you have one, two, three, four actual grand piano EQs, each one of them being very different and having different sonic qualities that will help um, either, you know, mix it into the mix or help it poke out of the mix, okay? So we're just gonna go through these and I'm just gonna talk um, a little bit. You know, this is the, the classic one. This is a very mellow sound. The first one is uh, your most typical, right? Right. Um, so it's a nice softer sound. This isn't one that I use much in a band mix, but I do use this particular EQ setting uh, if it's like piano and voice and guitar. If it's like a really piano centric song, I'll use this EQ. The one that I use the most for mixes with, you know, big bands and rock bands or whatever, um, I'll just show you. It is the, just the standard grand piano one. This one's got a bunch of nice low end, and then there's also this big bump up here in the 2K range. Um, so this one tends to poke out of a mix nicely. Um, so pretty, pretty common sound, but this particular EQ section, I just wanted to tell you guys, go into these EQs, dig through what is there. If you need to tailor these particular EQs, do it and then save it. Okay. So if you don't know how to save these things, obviously you're, I'm going to show you, you're going to go up here and you're just going to hit save as, and then it will appear in your menu, um, as a sound that you saved. So if you figure, you know, you've worked this EQ and you're like, wow, I want to keep this sound save it, save it, save the EQ, save the whole preset. Um, you know, down here in the lower left-hand corner, you can actually just save all of the parameters, not just one by one. Now, of course, there's gonna be compressor settings for pianos as well. Um, if you go into here, keyboards, here's the piano one. Um, you know, pretty basic stuff here. And the tape delay, I typically don't really use, so I just sort of turn it off. But with that compressor and that uh, EQ, D minor. <laughs> um, 
I do have to apologize, though. There is a humongous delay uh, between when I play and what I hear coming back. Basically, what's going on is my computer is running the video camera, a uh, video editor that's recording the desktop and all of the audio, both from this and my microphone. So it's being taxed and I have a ton of latency right now. So I can't really play you like really beautiful piano, um, but I can give you an example. Right. So whole point of this is to dig inside of the parameters, dig inside of these EQs, these compressors, the effects, play with these sounds. When you find one that you really love and work with, that you want to work with, save it and use it whenever you want. Okay. Now, same thing goes across the board. I mean, you know, we can go down all of these and do it one by one if we really need to. Um, but let's just go in. Well, let's open up an, or actually, I don't have to do it this way. Let's go to EQ and let's just look for more sounds right so for the roads sound there's pretty, pretty much just this one where it's refresh the roads um so with it on it sounds like this okay if i turn that eq off it sounds like this Right? It just goes back to being a nice mellow sound. Um, turn that EQ back on, it gets a little brighter. Right? You get a little more of the uh, high end of the, you know, the virtual hammers hitting the tines in a Rhodes. So, um, you know, there's not a lot to say beyond what I've already said, which is just go into the parameters that come automatically on GarageBand. This is one of those things that I've learned over the years to trust um, is the keyboard sounds and the preset EQs, compressors, all of that stuff has been done. All of the homework has been done for us. It's just a matter of you going in and tailoring tailoring it exactly to what you need. Same thing goes for synth sounds, all of the sounds. This, what I'm talking about, just go in and dig around until you find it. Um, there's no one, you know, secret to this except what I'm talking about, right? I can't tell you, oh, this is the best sound for your song because this is a very subjective topic, tone. Um, you know, I can't tell you, oh, this is the perfect piano tone for your song or every single song because I don't know what you like. I don't know what your song sounds like. I don't know, you know, all of that stuff. So what I did want to just basically encourage you to do is to mess around with the parameters. Now on the Hammond organ sound, I will say this is one of those ones where performing it like a live organ is going to be essential. I have made a video on how to make the Hammond organ sound more like a real Hammond organ. Um, and so check out that video. I'm going to drop a link in the more info area. But basically, that's it. I'm talking way too much for essentially telling you to mess around with the parameters, which you may have or may not have already known. But I did want you to know that there's really good, trustworthy presets in there. So just turn those presets on, find the one that works for your song, and go. I do also recommend that you do not change these parameters very much. If you have to, do it minimally, keep it very small, you know, small moves everywhere you do it, um, because like I said, these are trustworthy presets. So Eric Asperschlager, I hope this does help you um, in some way, shape or form. I really do hope it helps. And um, if you guys have any questions or suggestions or anything else, uh, I definitely want to hear about it. Leave it in the comments section below. One last thing I should add is that if you're looking for third party plugins to sort of beef up your sound package here, uh, I like this stuff from Tune Tracks. They make easy piano and easy drummer and stuff like that. Tune Tracks is a good company. They've been around for a long time. This stuff is affordable. Uh, really good sounding. I love the easy piano thing. I have it and I like it. Um, I can really quickly show you what that looks like. So basically I go in here and if I come to AU instruments, I go to tune track and I have easy keys down here. Get to it. Okay. So this is that. Let me just turn off this compressor and this EQ. And now this is the tune tracks easy piano.
right? It's a lot more um, hammer sound. It's just a better sound in general. Um, sounds more like a real piano and it doesn't need so much messing around with now there's of course a ton of different piano sounds in here that I can work with um, but basically I don't want to do an easy keys review here I love it it's a good thing I use it very often however I do also use the garage band piano sound um, it just really depends on what song I'm working with so you know if you're looking for third-party stuff check out tune tracks that's it uh, you guys I think that's about it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for continuing to support support my channel subscribers to my channel already you guys are the backbone to what's keeping this channel surviving and you guys watch everything i make and i really appreciate it um patreon 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 please go to my patreon page and you know consider signing up because it really would mean a lot to me um, as a content creator here on youtube i am starting to you know it's starting to wind down the, the the good old days are over and we're trying to figure out how to continue on because we love doing it i love helping you guys i'm i really enjoy the interaction all of that stuff so if you feel generous and you feel like supporting my channel patreon.com forward slash garage band and beyond that's all i'm gonna say all right have a great day you guys talk to you soon peace